Hello everyone and welcome back to another mini tutorial session here on Ghost Paper. And for today's video guys, we're going to take a look here on Procreate 5 on how to actually use the powerful selection tool for illustrations where everything is merged into one layer. And we're also going to be taking a look at loading and saving selections in order to get the best and the most out of our work. So I've prepared a special file for us for this lesson, guys. And in this illustration right here, everything is merged into one layer. So let's just say that either by accident or maybe you don't have the source files anymore, you just have this illustration and it's all flattened. And let's also just say that this is some freelance work and the client is asking you for some changes, specifically to change the color of some of these elements. So let's just say that the first request here is to change the color of the pencil. So we're just going to take our Apple Pencil here and we're going to use the selection tool and we're going to use the powerful freehand sub option of the selection tool, which allows us to tap on points to draw straight lines as well as to draw curves in order to get to other areas that are necessary. Here we had some straight uh, sections as well as curved sections. So right now we have the, the top part of the pencil and now let's just move down here and get the second part of our pencil. I believe that I just tapped there by mistake. So I'm just gonna close here. It's not really a problem because now I'm gonna draw just freely and I'm gonna make sure that I get all the area that I don't wanna select. And everything that we were doing here, by the way, was with the add mode selected, meaning that I, um, I didn't lose my selection at the very top, I just added the selection that was at the bottom and now that little mistake here we're now going to click remove and now i've removed that little mistake so even just here just this very section is already a bit of a lesson in terms of the selection mode because i know this can help you uh this can happen so you can be here and then just by mistake you actually tap here and you actually uh you know made a selection where you don't want this can happen but all that you have to do just draw another selection you don't need to really close that one. Just before you close that selection, click remove and it will remove from your selection. So now that we have this selection right here, this one is our pencil. And, you know, we could go ahead here and create a new layer. We could, you know, uh, create a new layer right here, tap on this option, click fill layer. But then with that, we're actually, you know, even though we're creating and painting here, but we're losing the selection that we just made. So what I'm going to do is tap and hold on the selection icon and what this actually does, it remembers your last created selection. So this is another part of this lesson. So if you by any mistake, if you exit the selection mode right here and you uh, by, uh, by that meaning you lose your selection, you can always press and hold on the selection button and Procreate will recall your last created selection. So now, in fact, we're going to head, head into this part right here where it says save and load. And we're going to tap the little plus button. And now we've made a selection for just this pencil. So now I am going to zoom out. And since we've painted with that little green, I'm just going to tap on the blend mode. And let's just say that we want the hue blending mode right here. So here we go. So now let's just say this is more or less the color that the client wants. But he also wants some changes to the skin color maybe some other areas. So for this, uh, for the purposes of showing you this, I've already prepared some pre-saved or, you know, uh, selections here that are pre-saved. So all that you have to do once you make these selections using the same principle of the freehand tool, which is you can draw curves and then you can take your time to actually draw lines. You don't have to really get everything in one go. We're just gonna click on the skin layer or my uh, selection two, which is all the skin sections of our character. And as you can see, we now have this selection. So I'm going to create a new layer, select a different color. Let's just say we're painting with this blue right here. I think this file is CMYK. That's why the, the colors are actually looking a little bit different. And now we're going to select fill layer. And finally, I'm gonna go back here into hue, just so you guys can see. So now we have also color corrected the skin layer for character because we had our saved selections. We had prepared work that uh, you know we were doing as we're working on the file, but it's always best to save your work whenever possible so you can really save selections. As well as one thing that I wanna show you is going back into the gallery mode, 
going back here into your illustrations and back into the selection mode, you actually still have, you can, th those selections are saved in your file. Because as we know, anything that we do, once we tap on the gallery button, we actually save our illustration and there is no more undos. We actually lose the undo history of Procreate. So saving selections, recalling selections is a really, really powerful way of actually working, especially when you have things that are, that are all merged into one layer. And one last thing, guys, that I just want to show you, this is actually very interesting as well, is that I uh, actually don't need to create a layer for this. We actually have to work on our base layer. So what I'm about to show, there is a little bit of, an, of a disadvantage because we have to work on our, on our base layer, whereas with selections, we are creating new layers, therefore creating new masks and new possibilities. But for this one, we're actually going to go into the adjustments menu and use the recolor tool. And when you get the recolor tool, you actually get this little, um, you know, this little uh, crosshair right here, which you can relocate to any area of your illustration. And let's just say that we do actually want to, uh, you know, recolor the skin section of our character. But as you can see, it's doing a very poor job because we're trying to recolor this section of the arm, but it's not really getting the bright area of the arm. But what you can do is to play around with the flood section here. And now all of a sudden we're actually getting a really good result, which is quite similar to the swatch because the advantage of this, uh, of this tool right here is that even though we're creating everything is one layer is actually respecting the color that we actually wanted to use for this tool. Whereas the previous method, what I was, what I was just showing you with selection modes and all that stuff and save saving and recalling selections, we do use uh, we do have to use a blend mode because in this case we had things with black outlines and it was really hard to get a uh, very uh, correct mask per se with the freehand selection so this method right here you get the purest color you get the really the match of the color that you actually want with the disadvantage that everything is in one layer whereas if you go with the selection mode, with the selection recalling and create new layers, you actually have more control, have more blending modes, but it's going to be a little bit trickier to get the very, you know, the desired color that you're choosing here to look the same as the one that you see on the canvas. So I hope that makes sense. So that's why I just wanted to show you both ways in one quick tutorial lesson so that you always have a plan B in case the selection mode is not really working the best for you. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, a like would be super appreciated. As well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon for more news, tips and tricks, tutorials, and all the good content for expanding your skills in Procreate. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.